Okay, I'm gonna start a new series of videos here that uh, I'm actually really, really excited about. Uh, I picked up a set of Suburban bucket seats that I'm gonna mount here into my uh, 77C10. And uh, they're a very close fit, and uh, but they're not a direct bolt-in. There is gonna be some work involved. Um, so let me just uh, get started here. Those of you who are in the know will probably notice that even though this seat is in the driver's position, originally this is the passenger seat. And I'm gonna swap them side to side, and I'll just explain. This dial here, this adjusts the angle of the back. It, in the factory position, these dials are always towards the middle of the vehicle. So in between the seat and the center console. So it would not be on this side. This is the passenger side, original passenger side seat that I'm gonna mount. Uh, in the driver's seat and one of the main reasons is uh, driver's seats uh, always get the most wear. I mean there's always at least one person in the vehicle and, and it's the driver. So driver's seats get the most wear, not to mention these armrests. This Again, this would be the inner armrest towards the middle of the vehicle. Uh, they get worn out uh, quicker than, oops, quicker than the other armrests. You can see this one's um, they never put enough padding in these, uh, but the fabric is, is in excellent condition on this side. So I'll just leave that side down, keep this side folded up, and uh, just kind of not worry about it. So I'm going to do that. Like I said, I'm swapping seats side to side, and, uh, and I'm going to document how I'm going to uh, install these seats. So uh, let me show you something. I think I might have figured something out. and. Uh, I'll show it to you. All right, well, I guess I should probably show you the problems before I show you my possible solutions. Now here on the front, this mounting hole uh, is nearly perfect. I don't know if you can see, that's the fact, that's the hole in there. There's a, a, a threaded nut, threaded insert that's welded to the other side of this panel. And this bolt pretty much works in there just fine. In the back here, the Suburban, uh, rear supports are angled down. Well you can see the tilt here of the floor and the bolt hole, the original bolt mounting location for the bench seat is right there. So that's problem number one. Uh, and we get up under here and here's the second problem. The Suburbans, granted the floor is almost the same but the Suburbans had a mount that was tack welded uh, to the floor here to mount this seat. So in the C10 pickups, you don't have that. And I've heard of guys, when they go to the junkyards, um, they actually just pull the carpet up and they can chisel uh, this mount off the Suburban. They say it comes off pretty easily, I've never done it. But chisel the mount off and then bring it home and then they weld it. They position their seat and then they weld the mount uh, back to their floor. So. Uh, that's the second problem, and the third problem, very similar to the other side. We got to change the angle of this, but we're also probably going to have to drill a hole uh, to mount this uh, back side of the slider. So uh, let me uh, get set up, and I'll I'll show you my possible solution. 